In the golden age of steam engines, the Fowler B6 called Talisman stood above all others as the pinnacle of British engineering. But today, they are all but extinct, with most left for scrap. For one man, it is the lifelong dream to fix that. With a little help from his old friend Guy Martin and longtime supporters Morris Lubricants, Alex Sharphouse has set himself the near impossible challenge of recreating Talisman from scratch in time for the Shrewsbury Steam Rally. Can Alex turn his dream into reality? In How to Build a Steam Engine. With such an ambitious task ahead of him, Alex will need more than a little help from his mates along the way. So today, him and Guy are putting their heads together to go through the many challenges that lie ahead. So go on, what's, what's the crap with this talisman job then? What's the idea, Eric? Fowler B6. Fowler B6. B6 road locomotive. Right. Which so were, the, the, right. yeah, the right. king of heavy haulage, three speed, rubber tyres, absolute pinnacle in the, the time. That was like the steam engine peaked at that, and after right. that, that was it. This what, what year are we talking? Uh, 1926. Go on, right. So anything after that, 30s, um, diamond T tran transporters, but diesel, diesel, diesel heavy haulage right. coming, so right. steam engines went off. So this is. So this was, this was the last of the, the, the king of the job, the, Rolls, the, the Rolls Royce of the job. Right. So, um, we decided, well, you know, let's have a go at building one. It was my wife, really. I, I kept going on about it. It was one of those stupid uh, things, you know, what do you want for Christmas or something? It's like, oh, yeah. I want a B6 road locker. It's like, it's getting boring now, Alex. It's getting boring. And uh, just one day, I don't know if she was joking or not, she says, I just don't know why you don't stop rabbiting about it. And bloody build one. You're, like, you're restoring other people's engines and you're making things. Can't you make one? So, um, then I, um, then I thought, maybe not such a stupid idea. Like, is it, can it be done? So, you start thinking and your head starts ticking and away you go. So, it's like, well... If you could build one, which I don't know whether I can or I can't, because it's when you start, some days you think it's like achievable, other days you just think, where the bloody hell is this going? Like, how on you know. So it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's going to happen. We will do it, definitely. You know, we can't, can't fail. Never failed anything yet. Got to do it. So we'll see what happens. It means in ways, isn't it? Mm, definitely. For Alex and Guy, there are four key stages to recreating Talisman. First up, the build where the main body starts to take shape. The next job is to construct and rubber the wheels, which, with wheels this size, is no mean feat. After that, the wheels will need to be fitted and secured. Finally, the boiler. This will need to be independently inspected and approved to make sure it's ready for action. To achieve all of this in a lifetime would be difficult. But Alex is determined to have Talisman ready for the steam rally, which means an ambitious schedule ahead of him. The plan is, the big plan, and it's going to push, is to have the boiler and the engine stun its wheels steamable for the middle of this year. Jesus, wet, That's, And then for sort of the middle of next year to set off, drive out the farm in it, finished, on a run. Like, we're going to go and take this engine, we're going to go and try it. We're going to go and put it through its paces and uh, get in going its, with it. Yeah. In its finished state? In its finished state, yeah. Oh, I like your optimism. Mm. Is, that, is, that, is, is, is optimism or crackers? I think it's I bloody know. stupid. Yeah. yeah. Hey, fair play. But, you know, you've got to, you've got to try, haven't you? I like it, mate. Mm. Next time on How to Build a Steam Engine. The Build. Literally uh, hundreds of hours of machining in that to get it right. Quite a critical part of the, the engine that if that wasn't right, you would, everything else would be wrong.